Now we take our 12 inch overhang track. We have a three footer here and we're gonna clamp it onto the back of that split bar counter, that uh, the backsplash wall on here, to make a split bar counter. We clamp it so it's nice and flush uh, to the top on both ends. And now we're gonna take our black marking pen where we wanna install a hidden bar support in the field and using the solid side of that stud, we're gonna make a black line on the back of that track because we're gonna to need to cut a slit there so the hidden bar support can slide through. Now you'd have to do that on every stud in the field where you want a hidden bar support, you gotta mark them. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this off and we'll, we can see that we have a black line there and we're gonna take that and we're gonna cut slits through that. Now we can either use a chop saw or a grinder. We're gonna use the grinder here because that's a very popular or inexpensive tool that you might be working with. Here's our grinder. You can see that we have a four and a half inch masonry diamond blade. A diamond blade is nice and smooth on the outside here. You'll have to have one of those to cut cement board and to cut the steel. Now let's go ahead and cut that hole out, that slit on the, on the line here. Make sure you're wearing a protective face shield, hearing protection, and nothing flammable around you from the sparks. Okay, you can see how he went through twice here to make a larger uh, gap um, for the hidden bar support um, to slide through. You could also notice in the video how we used a foot on top of here to hold this um, piece down so it doesn't get loose. So that's very important. Always use um, caution and safety with power tools. Now we'll go ahead and clamp this back into place. Before clamping the track back into place, we're gonna also have to make a slit here where we need it. Slit right to the left of the solid side of the bar stud. So you can see how a hidden bar support can have a nice slit that's going to be able to let it secure onto here and slip through that, that track. Now let's go ahead and put the track into place. Now we take our hidden bar supports and we put them through each one of those slits before clamping this into place. And then we go ahead and we slide it right through the slit. If it doesn't line up, you can always trim more to make it fit properly. There it goes, perfect. Now we'll go ahead and clamp this whole thing on flush. We gotta have it flush on the ends here and flush to the top, just like that. And you can see how that hidden bar support's just dangling out of there. If you didn't put that in like we just did, uh, you won't be able to get it in later. You'll be in trouble. You'd have to take everything back apart. Now you could have done this for as many hidden bar supports as needed following that same, um, same assembly instructions. Now the ones on the ends, you don't do anything special. Those just screw onto the outside. So um, there's nothing, uh, no cutting required there. Now let's go ahead and continue. We're screwing into the, into the top rail of the um, backsplash wall. We also add uh, extra screws into the studs. So we like to put at least one or two screws into every stud as well for extra strength to really hold the still. It's really important to have a lot of screws here, at least every eight inches, uh, to hold this really strong for your uh, overhang. 
Now we're installing our 12 inch overhang stud starting on, the, on one end here. We push it all the way into the back and clamp it with our 6R vice clamp. Make it nice and flush on the outside there. You see how we have it nice and deep into the track. Put a screw in through the top, but no screw in the bottom at this point. We want to let it have flexibility to level it with the hidden bar support. We have a magnetic level that we use that really comes in handy. It just sticks on the top there. And we take our hidden bar support. We want to make sure that it doesn't stick out from the framing when we install it. It helps if you clamp the hidden bar support to the frame to hold it in place. So he's, we're getting it level here and then clamp it in as level as possible. Now we're using our self-tapping screws. You want to put screws through every hole. If needed, our self-tapping screws from Barbecue Coach are so good they can penetrate through the steel without a hole if, if you need to do that. Also when you install the cement board, you can, your self-tapping screws will go right through the um, steel hidden bar support, so that's a really a good feature of the uh, screws from the barbecue coach. So it's that easy to screw with these uh, barbecue coach screws available from your dealer. Now you're going to have to go ahead and make sure that when you screw in the um, overhang stud that you have this perfectly level. It really helps having a magnetic level because you can keep an eye on it. Now we'll fill in all the holes. This adds a lot of strength to an overhang. There you have it. Now well, the last step is to screw in that bottom. And there it is. Now you'll duplicate that same procedure on every one of your hidden bar supports throughout your um, overhang. So we'll go ahead and continue and do that now. So here we have all three hidden bar supports installed. You can see how that center one is installed through that slit and going down to the um, bar stud. And then we have another one on the far end here as well. Now we're going to go ahead and take our last track and we're going to slip it over those studs. After many years of experience, we have found that the two and a half inch thick track looks the best for outdoor kitchens. Um, you wouldn't want to use the 3 and 5 8 that's too large and doesn't look good and you wouldn't want something too narrow so this is just the most popular uh, look for an outdoor kitchen overhang with the two and a half inch size now you can see how we have clamped on both ends here so it's nice and tight and we'll go ahead and just put screws in once we have it nice and full He'll just continue screwing along top and bottom uh, to every one of those overhang studs. And you got it. It's that easy to add a 12 inch overhang with the barbecue coach system. So you can either just have the 6 inch high backsplash uh, here or you can add uh, an overhang to it as well. That's a really nice beautiful split bar counter that's really strong. 
the barbecue coach system, you can pour two inch thick concrete uh, slab countertops on your 12 inch overhang when you properly install all of those hidden bar supports. Now I'm so confident of the strength of this hidden bar supports, not only holding the hundreds of pounds of concrete here, but I can take my 200 pounds and freely walk around on this split bar counter overhang and it holds my weight fine. We also have a two inch thick concrete slab on the module frame here, our 18 gauge uh, steel framing module. And it's so strong that I can jump up and down like this all 200 pounds. We've got our countertop supports and any empty spaces underneath the countertop. And look at that, this thing can hold an elephant. So with the barbecue coach system, we have the best one in America, the best system, and you can easily do it yourself and save thousands of dollars. Thank you.